I don't know, well, today I kind of did something I've been putting off for a while because, I don't know, when I first got the car, I tried doing this, but it was a huge pain in the ass. Well, what I did is I took off the dash. And uh, it's uh, quite an acrobatic maneuver trying to remove this piece of shit. <laughs> it uh, uh, wasn't fun. It wasn't fun. But there's a, uh, just give you a look real quick, there's a uh, series of bolts up here on the lip. have screws underneath. I'll just flip it around so you can see the deal. But basically this just these just slide into those holes or whatever. And uh, there's also a, a lot of these were already out when I got it, but there's a series of screws and stuff down here on the bottom that uh, connect to this bar right here in the middle. But uh, um, so, I'm not the uh, smallest guy. Okay. That'll be okay. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not the smallest guy. And uh, so I have to like get under here. Uh, and some of it, I uh, like the glove box, I was able to pull that out and get at the bolts here. Uh -huh these uh, vents that are in the middle. I was able to pull the tubes off the back and uh, pop these out. Um, and uh, But in here, all these gauges and stuff make it really hard to get at those bolts in here. Um, and, uh, you know, previously when I tried doing this, I would crawl under there and uh, I would reach my arms up and I'd get it to where I can get a wrench on the bolt, but then I couldn't move my arm or the wrench. So I was pretty much dead in the water, but I didn't care. Um, it was the beginning of spring and I wasn't about to start doing major renovations or anything. I just wanted to drive my car, so whatever. I just left it. But uh, uh, this time around, I don't know, last week when my brother was uh, over here, um, helping me do a bunch of other things like the windshield and stuff, like he saw it in that So he said, uh, you know, you should do just get a big extension for your socket wrench. And uh, you can use that and then just kind of go like this. And uh, so, yeah, I bought a big extension for a uh, socket wrench. Uh, all, the, all these, uh, all these, uh, Bolts took a, I used a 12 millimeter uh, socket. Uh, I don't know if that's the right size, but it worked. So, works for me. Uh, and that, that really helped out uh, on a lot of this stuff over here. So, thank you, Kevin. But uh, there was one bolt that was just, uh, really did not want to come out. It's uh, right here. So, so you can see it, but uh, it's right here, so it sits right above the, uh, uh, the oil pressure gauge, and uh, just showing it uh, right here, so I couldn't really use that extension because bam, it's going to hit this thing, if I came in from an angle, I couldn't really get it to, to go onto the onto the nut, so that sucked. <laughs> and so uh, what I uh, what I ended up doing is uh, I had everything else out, so I just kind of yanked on the dash really hard. So that it was kind of, it probably bent this a little bit, but this came up a little bit, and then I was able to crawl in under here, and I couldn't use a socket wrench, but I just used a normal wrench, and I could just barely turn it, and I just kept doing that until it came off. Um, once uh, my dog needs oil, she's kind of scared. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> she wants to go outside. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, so I got that bolt on. And uh, 
So I was able to lift the dash off and pull it forward a little bit. And uh, there's all these, uh, uh, you know, I wanted to make sure I got the, the wires and stuff uh, labeled and stuff. So I know where, where when I reassemble this, um, where to plug things into. Um, I'm probably going to switch out gauges and maybe even fabricate my own dash. I've got some ideas to do something a little bit different. But uh, I don't know, I kind of like the looks of the standard dash, but uh, uh, I, don't know, I have some ideas and it's, it's my car so I get to do what I want. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, I don't know, uh, I just uh, got a little labeler, 20 bucks at Target. And just as I disconnected wires, um, you kind of see I labeled what they go to. There's a, there's a ton of shit <laughs> here, but uh, you can kind of see where they go. Um, the like the the choke over here um, that um, I actually had to unbolt that, and then uh, I just pulled the cable out uh, once that was done. The uh, uh, Speedo and the uh, oil pressure gauge and increase the speedo. There's just this uh, uh, little nut deal on here I had to loosen up. And here's the oil. I had to loosen that up uh, to get it to come free, but that uh, that's that. And um, I don't know. Uh, major accomplishment. <laughs> it was, uh, uh, Definitely the task I've been dreading more than anything else. Um, you know, rusty, rusty nuts and bolts I can deal with, but um, turning myself into a contortionist, not fun. Um, so I don't know, that's about it for today. Um, if, I don't know, if uh, maybe you have an easier way to do it, um, if you're an MG person or something like that, uh, tell me about it. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, and, and any feedback you guys have or whatever, just uh, uh, shoot me an email at martysgarage at gmail.com. And uh, I don't know, even if you want to make fun of me or something, I, I don't care. It's good to hear from you. And uh, <laughs> uh, that's about it. But uh, oh, and I, I don't know, I just wanted to throw out a plug to, uh, I don't know if uh, you guys have ever watched, but uh, John Twist over at University Motors has excellent uh, movies on how to uh, how to do some work on your MGs and stuff. And uh, it's, it's also uh, they have their own uh, garage and they primarily service uh, uh, MGs and Triumphs and stuff like that. So uh, um, if you're if you're looking to get your MG fixed, I would definitely send it there because. Very knowledgeable guy. As a matter of fact, um, a lot of my Haynes manuals and stuff, I see excerpts and stuff in there that, that he wrote. I'm like, oh, I recognize that. But pretty cool. Um, but I don't know, just throw a little plug in there because John's helped me out with a lot of this stuff. So, um, but I don't know, other than that, uh, take care.